In this video, we continue implementing our bank. We have a design here, and last time we implemented most of the account. Uh, we think we have a fairly complete account. It's possible we'll discover other things we haven't done yet. The next easiest thing for us to address is a fairly simple class. We'll leave that until the end. Uh, but the customer is is another one that doesn't have too many dependencies on on other things that we haven't written. So let's go ahead and let's create our customer. So what types of values do we have inside of our customer? The first name, the last name, the ID. It's supposed to keep track of their accounts and their address. Okay. So I feel like first name, string, that makes a nice val, and it's something we definitely want to pass in. Last name also is a val, is a string. Our ID probably gets set when we create them and never changes. The other information, we have a list of accounts and we have an address. The address is going to be changeable, um, but when we create a customer, they need to have an address. So that's another thing to consider as far as the what goes here is the argument lists. If this is a value that you have to have in order for the object to be uh, to be considered valid, then it might need to. It should probably go inside of the argument list. However, for accounts, when we create a customer, they will never have an account yet. We will have to open the account. We can't just create an, a customer and give them like 10 accounts. So for that reason, I'm going to make it so that the list of accounts is not an argument. It's going to be down here inside of our class. And it starts off as nil. Okay, what about methods? Well, we need to add an account, remove an account. We need, I want to get the accounts. And in fact, I believe I'm missing an S here in the design. And I want to be able to change address, which just sets the address. So none of those seem like they're too uh, burdensome. Def add account takes an account, returns unit, and all it needs to do is add an account onto our list of accounts. So underscore accounts cons equals account. Simple enough. Though at this point now that we've written that, there's actually something that I'd like to do because if an account gets created and it is created with a particular customer, clearly that customer should know about that account. So we need to have some type of safety mechanism so that you can't accidentally create a, an account that thinks that it's for a customer and then have the programmer forget to add it to the customer. To do that, we're just going to add a line of code up here inside of our account that says customer dot add account of this. So we're going to add the current account, the one that we've just created, to the list for that customer. That way, anytime an account is created, the the uh, the customer associated with it will have it on its list and we can't forget to do that. Remove account was supposed to, let's see, how did we put that in the design? The design for remove account takes an ID, which is a string. Hmm, so how are we going to do that? ID string. Well, first off, we might give it an ID for something that's not there. And that means that nothing would be removed. The use, whoever calls this needs to know if something was removed or not. So we need to return a Boolean. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to run through and I'm going to find in the list of accounts the index of the account with that ID, assuming one exists. So we're going to make a local variable inside of here called index that is going to be the, and this is another one of these higher order methods that can be very helpful. I want the account at the index where underscore dot ID 
is equal to ID. So I want to find the account whose ID is equal to the ID. It's very much like find, but instead of giving us back an option of the object, it gives us back an index. And if it doesn't find it, that index will be negative one. So we can say if the index is less than zero, then we're just going to give back false. And there's nothing else that we need to do. Otherwise, we're going to wind up giving back true. And then I need to remove that from the list. And well, if you think to some of the methods that we talked about on collections, one way that we could do this would be to use patch. So accounts equals accounts dot patch. Where are we patching? We are patching at the index. We are going to replace with nothing. And how many elements? One. So this is basically going to remove one element because I'm taking one element, I'm replacing it with the empty list, and I'm doing that at the location index. So there's remove account. What other methods do we put in our design? We have the methods just get the accounts and to change address. Well, one of those is definitely very, actually they're both very easy. So accounts equals underscore accounts. Once again, I'm only willing to do this because this is a list. It is immutable. Once I return it to them, they can't do anything bad with it. If I had made this an array, I would have to make a copy of the array and give them back a copy because I would not be willing or maybe make the copy into a list or something like that. But I wouldn't be willing to give them back my array because if I did that, then they could change the values inside of my array. This is actually one of the places where using immutable data can make you more memory efficient because you don't have to do what's called defensive copying. And then we said change address, which is actually fairly simple. They are passing in an address. This doesn't give us back any information. It's just going to set. You know, it wasn't in our design, but we probably need a way to access the address of our customers so that outside code can get hold of it. Let's go ahead and let's add that in real quick. Okay, there we go. So now we have a customer class that implements all of the methods that we had put in our design. We'll come back in another video and we will go ahead and write the bank, which is going to kind of sit over the top of our customers and our accounts and keep things organized for us.